Today I'm going to give you five hot secrets for how to make the best ever baba ghanouj. Let's do it. The first secret to getting the best smoke out of your eggplant is to grill it over direct heat. So if you have a gas stove, use it. If not, you can do this tidbit on an outdoor grill. This will give you the most smokiness out of your eggplant. You're gonna want to make sure that you are rotating your eggplant. It's gonna begin to soften. Manage your heat down to medium if you need to. So depending on the size of your eggplant, 15 to 20 minutes should do it. Beautiful things are happening. My eggplant is nearly finished, so it will completely collapse, you guys. And come closer. Take a look at this. Some juices are oozing out, so here's your hot tip. When you do the stovetop method, always, always cover up with aluminum foil. All right, these babies are ready. Put them in a colander, allow them to cool off. To help it cool quickly, I'm gonna open it up a little bit. You can see all the juices that are coming out of the eggplant. Tiny drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Let's toast some pine nuts. Watch your pine nuts carefully and toss them around until they gain a nice, beautiful, golden brown color. You know, they say good things come to those who wait. This sat for a good half hour and look how much liquid came out. You're gonna need to scoop up the flesh, but first remove the skin. Any part of the skin that is still attached should come off easily at this point in time. I call this the hat. <laughs> Transfer this eggplant in here. The best mess. Tip number four, mix your baba ghanouj by hand in a bowl. It is far better in texture that way. From here, we're gonna add the rest of the flavor makers. Tahini, about a quarter cup. You can find this baby over on the mediterraneandish.com. Hit the shop tab when you get there. Quarter cup of the beautiful sesame tahini right here. A nice big juicy lemon. Now, I'm not opposed to you doing this in the food processor, but I will tell you it's easier to control the consistency. Garlic, one to two garlic cloves minced real small. A good bit of kosher salt. Some of the restaurants in Egypt will add a good tablespoon of Greek yogurt to their baba ghanouj. This tiny bit of Greek yogurt is going to give better creamy consistency and help the color of this beautiful eggplant. From here, a little bit of sumac, and if you like, a little bit of heat, Aleppo-style pepper or red pepper flakes. Aleppo is not as hot, and it has a nice, sweet undertone. And we're just gonna give this a good mix so that everything is well combined. I highly recommend you cover this up and leave it in the fridge for half hour. When you allow it to sit for a little bit longer, it will deepen in flavor and it will thicken up a little bit and the fridge will help that. I always bring it a little closer to room temp when I'm ready to serve it. Now, baba ghanouj is not meant to be super smooth. If you want it to be smoother, you can definitely use a food processor. Don't overdo it. Grab some rich and peppery extra virgin olive oil. Pine nuts, totally optional, but man, if you have them, they are just the icing on the cake. I love to serve baba ghanouj with something else that's nice and fresh. So tomatoes, cucumbers, bell peppers, anything you have. If you're looking for more delicious dips, don't forget to check out my creamy, dreamy hummus. Damn, that's good. <laughs> for the best ever baba ghanouj recipe, head over to themediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.